Do you sign or I sign? <laughs> I'm Sophie and this is Max and we're currently converting a Mercedes Vario so that we can begin our van life adventure across the world. We are the lucky owners of a 614D Mercedes Vario. It has had quite a long life before us. It was a theatre company van so it had seven seats and a crew cab at the front. It's also been converted into the back at some point into a car carrier. Now this created a really interesting pull out for us at the start of our conversion. Um, so at first the plan was to get it through an MOT um, pretty quickly and just do some minimal work, get it through a HGV MOT um, and then start our build. So because it had a body kit fitted um, and it was like part way through a conversion to be a car carrier, it hadn't had its side lights fitted, it was basically not road legal. So we got it delivered to us on trade plates, so it was allowed on the road for that <laughs> day. And um, we had to fit those things that would get it through an MOT. Now HGV MOT has a lot of components. We downloaded the list and it was yeah, like we had a pages. Big, big list of what we needed to tick off uh, <laughs> to get it through a HGV MOT that we were aiming for. So we made a list of those things that we needed to do. Um, we had a one of our inner rear tires uh, was had quite low tread and we had to replace our side marker lights and we had to attach a rear number plate with some lighting. Um, so instead of starting with any of those things, we decided to give it a good clean. I'm all for thinking a clean van is more likely to pass its MOT. Also, a bird had pooed all the way down the van, so we couldn't just leave that there. <laughs> and after one day of really scrubbing hard, we've managed to get half of the van cleaned. So it turns out some of this grime was not going to budge. I think we did a good job. It is shining and everything. <laughs> What's our next job, Max? Cleaning the inside of the van because it is filthy. It's very, very filthy in here. Our new favourite feature of the van is the inbuilt confetti machine that every time you turn on blows dried leaves. We hope. Yeah, and like bug guts and all sorts of <laughs> uh, We also have a nice little oil light that keeps coming on. So that's also going to be another job we need to sort out. And we're just going to give it a really good clean because somebody's had a really messy dog in here. Last bucket of the day. Woo! Because it's too cold. Uh, I might need another bucket. Oh no, it's not the last bucket of the day. Second to last bucket of the day. Whose idea was it to buy a van in winter? This guy. <laughs> The next job on the list was trying to get the back wheels off. One of them had a really low tread, so we needed to get them off for the MIT. Now, that was easier said than done. So we tried and we tried and we tried a bit more and got a bit frustrated. And in the end, we had zero tires off. We had a couple of rounded off nuts and basically we just decided to stop for lunch because we failed miserably. <laughs> now <laughs> okay so we've got quite a lot of rust on this van um nothing that's too structurally worrying but hopefully we're going to be able to stop it with this stuff so what we've done is wire brushed it down get rid of any flaky bits of rust anything that's falling off and then we're painting it with a rust converter so it's essentially going to kill the rust we're painting it nice and thick because these bits are quite integral to the van so we don't want them getting any worse than they already are. We also need to do where the body kit has been attached because that was left untreated so that is rusting and it is quite thin so if that does rust through it will go quite badly. And we like the body kit so we're going to try and keep it. So all the rust converting we're doing at this stage is just preventative just to kind of stop it in its tracks and keep it where it's at for now. 
we're not looking at any of the kind of final finish of anything we're going to do all the prettying up afterwards um, so we're going to kind of chop some back out use some filler and tidy it up properly in the long run but right now we just want to stop this rust getting any worse so we have been using wire brushes which was really annoying it was making our arms hurt so we decided better tools means better results so we got an angle grinder and we were using wire brush discs to really get a smooth finish on the back of the van it sped things up so it was really good show us your sexy goggles actually work better underneath underneath your glasses double goggle wow beautiful Tiny. How much better does that look? So much better. Next job is removing the body kit so we can get to where the side markers need to go. Obviously that means cutting through the fiberglass body kit, threading through the lights and putting them back together again with electricity, which I'm really bad at, but Max is really good at, so hopefully that will go well. Still no wheels off. Just saying. Is it just me and my million chin? No, <laughs> well done. <laughs> with the body kit off, it was way easier to get under the van, so we started to tidy up the leaf springs um, and get everything looking shiny and well looked after so that the MOT guy would think we'd really cared for the van. Which we do, we, we, we care for it. You're getting painted like one of your French girls. Sorry? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> it's actually a pretty low clearance, isn't it? Like, look how low that is. Incredibly low. So when we were worried about the body kit, yeah. it's actually low anyway, so. So it's day 427 of trying to get this rear wheel off and we have a torque multiplier which we bought off of eBay and it was the cheapest one we could find. Um, so we're going to give this a go and hopefully it will get our uh, rear wheel off. So it has the kind of main body, it has two ends, this end here that's the bit that we uh, put windy windiness into and the other end goes onto the wheel nut and every turn we do on this end we get an amount of turns that's on the box which is 64 turns on the wheel nut end so we have to put 64 turns into this to get one out of the end on the left hand side so it turns out we're not winners <laughs> we are losers we are losers still so we've been trying to get to the rear wheel here so we can put it with air and haven't been able to yet so we're now trying to take off the extendable um, air filler but we found something else under our van if you look up here we have a bird's nest so we're gonna have to take that out it's interesting that they managed to <laughs> lodge it in here but we will be removing that ASAP. Uh. You may go get a bag or something to put it. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's still a lot left. Can you get me something I can like scrape it out with? Yeah, sure. Oh, and look. What? Oh. It's a feathery. Yeah, I don't think there's any dead birds in it. No, there's not. <laughs> sure. Oh dear, rust. Screwdriver? Oh my god. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> oh my goodness, that feels so good. Step. <laughs> oh lord. Oh lord. That's not as horrifically rusty in there as I thought it was going to be. No, it could be a lot worse. Yeah, boy. Yes. 
Oh. How good's that? Uh, what's the tire looking like? Yeah, not too bad. Oh. Oh, thank God. How do you feel? <laughs> Didn't even need a sledgehammer. Didn't even. 24 need hours of, well, four weeks of WD 40, and you win. <laughs> I am a winner. And then finally we have new tyres with good tread for our MOT. And ones that don't have holes in. Yay! Oh. So before we get this thing through an OET, we need to get the side lights working. Which is easier said than done right now, because we've got to contend with a body kit. How do you feel now you've achieved your first cabling session? I feel learnt. Well learnt. Every day's a learning day. <laughs> and by uh, finish your first cabling session, I mean you've done your first one out of six. How does that make you feel? I'm not even strong enough to put the thing together. So many guns. Guns for days. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Got another one. Yes. Another one. <laughs> and another one. <laughs> I'm so happy. It's all six. Yes. Beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Last one. Yes. Yay. Lunch. <laughs> so while Sophie's taking another three hour lunch break, I'm gonna start putting some poles into the body kit so we can get those market lights mounted up onto it and get it all on the van looking nice and pretty. Can I just say I was at work? I was at work. And now, while Sophie's having an afternoon nap... Shut up, not up, shut up! The last thing that I need to do to get it all MOT ready is to add the RIN number plate, which we're putting in this nice, like, tidy clip-on frame, um, and some lighting for it as well. And then it'll all be shiny, clean, working, and ready for its MOT. So after all that hard work, and we spent hours fixing the van, it all just went through an MOT, no problem whatsoever. But what actually happened was coronavirus hit and our MOT got cancelled. Yes. So uh, The day before. The day before we were taking it in. The day before we were going at nine o'clock in the morning, phone call, it's all off, not going to be able to happen for at least six months. So yeah. that put a bit of a spanner in the works. Yeah, which meant we either stopped building for six months or we built and then did the MOT at the end. And we decided that's what we'd go for because we just kind of wanted to crack on with the build, really, didn't yeah. we? Get van built. <laughs> Get van built. And we're looking forward to showing you all that. Yeah, and if you follow us on Instagram, you'll see, obviously, we're a little bit ahead of said video, so... But we'll try and get you caught up nice and soon. Oh. Yeah, as quick as possible, and then you'll be running along real time. And yeah, so if you want to follow us on Instagram or like and subscribe on YouTube and we'll try to keep you as up to date as possible. Um, we're a bit slow, but. Yeah, we're not super quick with the video editing because we've never done it before. No, but, but we're trying. So follow us along. Hope you enjoy it. Bye. Bye. All right, let's put it to bed. Night night. Night, Ben.